what's up guys this is Puni Khatri from iGeeks blog and in this video we'll be taking a look at how to clean the other data the data which is shown in iTunes as other how to clean the data from your iPhone so basically this helps to clean up a lot of space onto your device and this is quite helpful basically so guys don't waste any bit of time and get right into this video so let's get started so basically what you need to do is that guys you need to scroll over and go into Cydia and you need to search for iCleaner Pro that's a free tweak which is available from Hacker or iPhone repo basically if you don't know or you're not aware of some repos I would basically linking them I would be linking a video down right there in the descriptions which has top 10 Cydia repos so once you download this from Cydia what you need to do is just need to hit over here iCleaner Pro and here you have an option at the top to clean so basically you don't need to hit the clean button directly you can basically also analyze what's going on and what are the status logs and uh, cleanup procedure everything basically this is not in the stable by us so this is a log for all the analysis which is done by iCleaner Pro basically we don't get to know what's this all about so just uh, leave that aside you can configure this that you want to delete the message attachments so basically I've turned that off in Safari data I want to delete the Safari data that's not of any use for me App Store applications which are not for use, you can delete them. OTA software update, you can delete the OTA software update which is downloaded so there would be less space consumed. You want to delete Cydia data, basically, I won't recommend that. You want to delete Cydia sources, no, I don't want to. Unused dependencies, no, I don't want to delete them. You want to delete the log files, cache files, temporary files, and file types cleanup and I don't want to basically delete the custom files and folders so once the application is now successfully uh, configured now what you need to do is just hit clean now it would take some particular amount of time in order to basically go through the procedure of cleaning all the data so what it says that basically I hope it's clearly visible to you guys that iCleaner Pro cleanup completed free space 320 MB so that's quite good it has freed around 200 320 megabytes onto my device so guys once the cleanup has been completed my device is now rebooting in order to apply those updates and so having the cleaned up other data information so guys that's it the reboot has been almost taken place also guys my device is ready now after boot up and then go ahead into settings scroll down into general and usage you can see I got an available space of 9.7 GB basically out of this space only 300 MB was cleaned by iCleaner Pro which is a good amount of storage for an iPhone or a device which you're using so guys I hope you enjoyed this video this was a quick video on how to basically clean up the other data available onto your devices if you like such video contents hit the hit the like button down right there it's much appreciated it helps us to make more and more contents just like that also there is a subscribe button down right there and we have an notion over here please do also subscribe our channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video